You, know, you already know all things sports entertainment. So Caleb Williams and the uh, Chicago Bears went up against the New England Patriots. Now, it was a home game for the Bears, and the Bears were coming off of a 4-4 four and four record prior to yesterday. It got bad out there. I ain't even going to lie. It got, it got bad to the point to where Caleb Williams got sacked nine different times. I'm going to let that sit in for, for a lot of uh, us Bears fans. Nine different times with a three and uh, losing 3-19. And I don't think we've scored a touchdown since we played against the, com the Commanders. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, Caleb Williams... Of People already call him a bust. They've been calling him that since day one. Um, I do think that Caleb Williams is talented, but I'm also critical of him sometimes. This isn't USC. This isn't high school. You in the league, man. This is the NFL, man. Everybody good out there. And I, I get it. And even with, with Shador, I know I'm kind of spinning off to him, but he's going to be one of the top picks next year. You hold the ball, man, for too long, you're going to get hit out there. But Caleb Williams, you know, I'm critical of that, but... Man, that's by, that's all. That's purely coaching in the O line. Nine times, nine times. And for the fans, man, who pay their hard earned money, do you really want to see your quarterback take that many hits? How many quarterbacks like that can take that many hits in the NFL? We already seen what happened to Justin Fields, and a lot of us like Justin Fields. I personally thought that we could have kept him. I know he, I believe he's riding the bench right now with the Steelers, but I felt like we could have kept him. And my record saying I wanted to keep him. And we could have just drafted better players around him. He was already there several years, but I get it. They had a new coaching staff. You know, they own players. I mean, they, they want to bring in their own quarterback. Cool. Can I at least protect him to where he don't get hit nine times? You know, so I just, I, I, I don't, I, I don't understand it. And we started off good. We started off good. DJ Moore is a star out there. Our defense is nice, but we, we got, we got a block. Caleb, man, you got to get that ball off quicker or you got to make different, better decisions. And the coaches, man, oh, man, they might have to clean, clear house, honestly. Because what kind of explaining can you do to your boss to say why you let Caleb Williams get sacked nine times? You know, this is bad for the organization as a whole. And it don't make it any better that uh, Jaden Daniels already, I believe, is it a football? Is already in the Hall of Fame. Some people was all was wanting him to be the number one overall pick coming into the draft, and he's already being compared to Lamar Jackson. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna have to we got to pull it together. It's gonna have to be like what happened with Colorado. When they got blown out by Nebraska, and right now they look up and they only lost two games with a seven and two bowl eligible. We're going to have to do something like that. And also, the people going to have to understand, man, Caleb Williams is a rookie. And I get it, Jaden Daniels, CJ Stroud last year. But every it's not going to be like that every person. And I do think that most people should sit majority of their first year. Look at Pat Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. He sat the majority of his first year behind Alex Smith, who was a Pro Bowl quarterback. Then he came in. And the rest is history. Three Super Bowls later, multiple MVPs, four Super Bowl appearances. So I don't know, man, but, but as Bears fans, we got to be patient and at least let's give them two years before we're ready to move on. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. We got an upcoming game this weekend against the Packers, which is a home game. So, you know, let's hopefully we can pull this off. But let me know what y'all think.